Ukraine finally moves to fortify front line, but could it be too little too late? Kyiv Independent The words, often spoken by Ukrainian troops, are universal advice for trench warfare in general, but especially for both sides in Russia's war against Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine are diving headlong into a winter campaign looking to be no less brutal than the last, and it is Russian forces that have taken the initiative on a wide stretch of the Eastern Front. T-line and look likely to keep it for the foreseeable future. As Ukraine wrestled with internal political tensions, the threat of Western. Below are your comments. The Ukrainians launched their spring and summer offensive exactly where the Russians thought they were. Old, and thus the Russians were ready for them. A key component to success in war is doing what the enemy doesn't expect. The construction of permanent fortifications increases the likelihood that the current battle lines will become the de facto border between Russia and Ukraine once a peace agreement is signed. Simply not feasible to win this one. America and Europe cannot support Ukraine in perpetuity. I feel bad for the Ukrainian people as their leader should have had the foresight to see this inevitable outcome. But a leader like Zelensky has been more concerned about his ego which has led to hundreds. I've been saying the following ever since the US got involved. No matter what the media and the government tell you Ukraine is not going to win this war, at best t. Here will be a negotiated peace with Ukraine giving many concessions and again the US. Taxpayer will have lost billions in cash and asking the soldiers on the front line currently engaged in defensive operations to simultaneously d. IG fallback positions is telling. It means you have no reserve forces to do the digging. Ukraine should begin peace talks as soon as possible. Next news. Zelensky's fight for survival amid Klitschko's dangerous blame game. The Telegraph. In Ukraine's short life as a sovereign, democratic country, this is surely its darkest hour. As the war effort falters, while the West prevaricates and procrastinates, the past few days have W.I. T. Nest the nadir of Ukrainian fortunes. Below are your comments. Russia is rebuilding cities in Donbass. I saw on TV today huge apartment block housing. Standard Russian multifamily housing. Schools, hospitals, sports facilities, also being rebuilt. Russian flags everywhere in the streets. Dot. A corrupt Westerner puppet and vassal responsible for the destruction of Ukraine and the death of though. You sands of civilians and soldiers. He had the option to avoid this conflict but was duped or bought by the smart leaders of the UK and the US. Shameful. Nothing democratic about Ukraine. All media releases have to be approved by Zelensky, churches close. D. And a lot more Zelensky followed all communist treatment of citizens. Na nation is going to sympathize with a leader who brought the country into its knees. His fate is predetermined. Can't win a war against Russia solely on foreign aid. 
Money alone cannot help Ukraine's Zelensky survival, let alone win back. We already donated $111 billion of those. Ukraine general sees through that dark black hole, and advises to stop Zelensky's wishful daydream of recapturing lost land. According to GOP presidential hopeful, and many reluctant. Next news. German defense minister. Europe needs to guarantee security without relying on U.S. Kiev independent. Pistorius noted that Europe may have to replace U.S. Aid to Ukraine if Washington fails to approve new funding. Below are your comments. The EU 35.6 billion. The US 113 billion. With the EU having a comparable GDP and a stronger currency than the dollar with the euro. Because they refuse to debt spend. While we debt spend to defend them. So yeah time for them to pay, time for us to stop it. Because if our debt crashes our country. We need to protect borders at home, we need industries, repair our roads and bridges, more doctors. War on drugs, better education. We do not need to pay for European security. Those old countries are rich enough. They also are not as important for United States as before. Because EU is getting mu. Glad to hear that. Stop depending on America to help you. You have several large rich nations that should be able to do what needs to be done. Europe has been living on easy street for too long. It's time they paid their fair share. Absolutely right. If Trump is re-elected, God forbid, he won't hesitate to throw Europe under the bus and withdraw fro. M. NATO. He would be a menace to world peace and stability. Therefore, Europe should not count on the U.S. for protection but rather build up and strengthen its O. W.N. Armed Forces the W. Next news. Military intelligence. Putin exaggerates Russian numbers in Ukraine. Kiev independent. There are around 450,000 Russian troops deployed in Ukraine, rather than over 600,000 as Russian pre. Sident Vladimir Putin claimed, the spokesperson of Ukraine's military intelligence agency. Her, Yuri Yusuf, said on deck. 15. Below are your comments. Putin does not lie. Come one. There are around 450,000 Russian troops deployed in Ukraine, rather than 617,000 as Russian president. T claimed. If you include the dead Russians buried there, the numbers are correct. Personally, I think it is Ukraine who is grossly exaggerating its number of active military person. L. There is no way it has 600,000 active personnel on the ground. That number is being thrown out there for more funding from Western Europe and U.S. U.S. intelligence lost any shame it seems. 
First of all I never heard invasion numbers in 300 kiloseconds. 150k was tops at the time. But I guess it would sound weird if they claimed 200% losses so they revised older numbers. Next news. Sadiq Khan has betrayed Ukraine. The Telegraph. What a doughty comrade Sadiq Khan would make if you found yourself in a bunker with him besieged by enemy fire. The London mayor has just had the chance to aid Ukraine's war effort against Putin's forces by sending ing vehicles given up by Londoners avoiding falling foul of Yule's expansion. And guess what? Yes, he's turned it down. On the grounds, so he has written in a letter to his counterpart in Kiev, that sending the cars and vans would not meet the legal threshold of demonstrating the benefit t. Below are your comments. They let all these people in then they overcome the gov and destroy within. When you have elected officials with an agenda of their own, instead the best for their countries and de electorate, this is what you get. Loyalty is mostly tested when things aren't going well. It's easy when you're winning. Oh Ross, how can the mayor of London betray Ukraine? Take a step back. Take a deep breathe, and give those brain cells a chance to function again. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.